I am helping the staff with privacy issues in my district by ensuring that they have access to current information that is relevant to their job and isn't overwhelming. So we do provide a number of resources to individuals in our division um, related to student data privacy and staff data privacy as well. Um, we have Google Sites and we have YouTube videos, we have TeacherTube videos, we have Tuesday tech tips that have really morphed into um, beyond technology into embedded uh, data privacy issues that are coming up in technology such as click wrap terms and conditions, um, re-emphasizing for our teachers what our intake process is for new resources. Um, it's fairly robust and we try not to inundate them at their professional development opportunities with anything that isn't directly related to student instruction. So we do try to make everything available online. So when a teacher or anybody else in the building wants to implement a new instructional resource that is digital. There is a process that they go through uh, to make sure that it is vetted appropriately. Um, it's called SWOT. It's a simple online form that has six questions and if a teacher is submitting it directly to the uh, review board there's one path and if they're submitting it to their technology resource teacher in their school there's another path so we tried to democratize it in a large school division you can't have everybody funnel through one path and we just recognized that uh, we had to give people options. So it's a simple Google form, it has six questions. It provides, the individual who's submitting it has to provide what is instructionally relevant, what other resources they have already reviewed access to in the district and what those gaps might be that could be filled by this instructional resource. And oftentimes it's, I don't know, I just saw it online and I thought it was cool and that's okay. They provide us the link to the resource. That submission then gets routed to the um, team of people who work um, it's it's a it's in parallel instead of in serial because we used to have the sequential process that would one person a signs off on it goes to person B and we were realizing that it took too too much time so it goes to this um, a, approval board or review board really um, that has educational technology assistive technology our information security team data privacy experts, um, who else is on there? Our integration team to determine if it can be integrated with single sign-on instead of having new accounts created, and our procurement team because they will review the terms and conditions and if there are anything in those agreements, those online agreements that they object to, they'll work with the company to um, have another way of getting through their terms and conditions.